Hello everyone, so back for another Dolly review video. And today I would like to talk about Fashion Corner dolls. So recently, another YouTuber that does doll related content sent me some more of these dolls. I originally only had these two right here. So that was my second one that I got as an adult collector at a thrift store and then my other one who is sitting in Sully's lap or sitting next to him should I say that was the one I got when I was a teenager but my original one was abandoned I found abandoned at a house or at an abandoned house or whatever and um, yeah she was my first one and I kind of pieced her together I don't have her anymore sadly but I mean, she was one of my favorite dolls and I thought she was one of the most unique looking dolls I'd ever seen, like Barbie clones or whatever. So, of course, back when I was a kid, I just called these cheap Barbies. I didn't know that there was a name for them. I didn't know that there was a thing called bootleg or knockoff or I, I either just called them dollar store or cheap Barbies. That's all I called them. But these ones were a little bit more, you know, they were a little bit more, like a little bit better quality. So, but yeah, I got her when I was maybe 17. So, from a flea market, she has been rerouted. I tried to achieve the original hairstyle, except minus the bangs. But here's another one that comes with a similar hairstyle, so that's what I tried to achieve. So yeah, she used to have silver hair, silverish blonde like this one, but yeah. So that's her and she is finally wearing a genuine Fashion Corner outfit, which is super awesome. So yes, there was another YouTuber called Dolly Me that sent me some of these, so I am so grateful because now I have lots of them to uh, enjoy. And they even have some of the little, I've never had any of these. These are the little babies. So I think these ones are supposed to be boys. But they don't look that much like boys. They have the long eyelashes and the outfit is something a little girl would wear. So they're just going to be girls with pixie cuts. So yeah. And these one, these are interesting. They have like their bodies are like a My Little Pony, like they're non-articulated, and then they're hollow and squishy like a My Little Pony. So that's kind of interesting. So these are very reminiscent of the uh, little tiny, I guess they were toddlers or something that Barbie came with. Very reminiscent of those, but I have three of them. The girl with pigtails is probably going to get rerouted because... She is completely bald in the middle, and you can literally see it all over her head. So maybe I will give her the same hair that I gave that one. She will just have a fuller head of hair. And then these ones, they actually do have a lot more hair, so. They will just have pixie cuts. They'll be little girls with pixie cuts, but yeah, there's those. They're very squishy, and I just like them. They're just kind of fun to squish. The hair's okay quality. It's basically that just cheap dollar store stuff. Um, but, you know, all you do is boil wash it. But, yeah, that was my story behind. I've mentioned it several times. I've done two other Fashion Corner doll videos. The first one was with me taking her hair out and um, then she waited three years and I finally rerouted her and then I made a video after I rerouted her. So yeah. And then this one she has yet to get rerouted. She has different arms right now. They're rubbery because her her hands fell apart like her fingers fell off and something. It's just like something that happens to this sort of flexible sort of plastic over time is it 
sometimes depending on how they're kept like this is the same material a Barbie's arm is made of like the old school Barbie so it's kind of waxy and you can see it like it springs back into place so it feels a lot like crayons yeah I'm sorry she is exposing herself but there are no straps on this top I will probably have to make one for her so but now I have all these other ones and there's some of the boxes so you can tell a fashion corner doll by the dimply the dimples face mold like this face mold with the dimples so yeah if you see a doll like this with really tiny lips really big giant eyes like this and the really um defined dimples and some of them do have heavy blush then you can be rest assured that you do have a genuine fashion corner doll they did come out with different face molds i don't have any of the other ones they came out with a different face mold for them in the early 2000s it was i guess it looked a little bit more like a skipper face this face mold looks more like the superstar barbie face these ones are also very reminiscent of a lovely Patsy doll. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I do have two lovely Patsy dolls. These are some of the earlier ones. These came from Dollar General. So one of them I did get from eBay and the other one I did get from a thrift store. The same thrift store that I found this doll at. So... These are both lovely patsies. So here we go. So yes, you can see they're very reminiscent. A lot of fashion dolls from discount stores, you know, off brand that weren't Mattel, they had this sort of look to them. They had the red lips, they had the blue eyeshadow or like a really intense color eyeshadow, whether it was blue or purple or something. And um, they would have a facial screening like this with not with minimal eyelashes, one color in their eyes and this huge, big platinum curly hair that was kind of like Dolly Parton or something like that. So a lot of different off-brand Barbie dolls had this look and I'm absolutely head over heels for it as you can see it's another attempt at making the superstar face mold so yeah those are some lovely patsies some of them do not say lovely patsy but if you see one with this face with this type of face there are dimples on this one but they're kind of faded they're not as prominent as those ones so but yeah, some of them usually just say made in China on the back. And sh this body is a different body mold than this one. So this one is much taller. The hand molds are also different. So you have these, I'm just going to say it, they look like forks. And then you have these ones, which are more graceful. So yeah, and she is on a taller body than this one. She's more petite, but they have the exact same hair and face and everything. But the ones with the taller body do say Lovely Patsy on the back, made in China. So yes, these ones are very reminiscent of those, but they're a little, they look a little bit older, I will say. Let me do a little comparison so yeah you can see that very similar but the face mold is completely different i don't know which one i prefer more i like them both i love both the face molds on these and they always had that pinky tan skin the bangs oh yeah you know it but one thing that was different about fashion corner was not only did some of them have like silver blonde hair like this one but and this was my, what my original one had i think my original one her hair was more of like an intense like the pink in her hair like the pinky tone in her hair was more intense than the ones i have now 
But yeah, I can pair this one. And then there's that one. So yeah, this is more of a silver blonde. And you can see that this one's more rosy. This was what my original one was like. That was what her hair was like. The one that I had found abandoned all those years ago. I was like 10 years old when I got my first one. And um, I put her on a kid core body because literally, yeah, I'll show you how, the, how this happens. So these ones, you can literally just pull them apart. And they have the same thing where they pull apart, you put them back together. They're just like these, except the arms are solid and the knees bend. And the plastic that the this is made of is very, very, very hard. Whilst this, you can see it's squishing. So her torso is made of what these Dollar General ones, what their entire bodies are made of. This sort of squishy sort of plast hollow plastic so but literally my original one was like this she had this hairstyle you know with a side part the straight arms and she didn't have a top or anything on and she was literally just lying face down in the laundry room of the abandoned house and so I popped her head off of this stuck her on a kid core body and there was an ice skating Barbie dress that I had randomly found let me see if I can get her back together I can't do this with one hand so I would do a jump cut but I'm too lazy oh yeah so as you can see they go back together and the arms pop off legs pop off I wouldn't recommend popping the legs off though because sometimes the flange will break off. That's what happened to my original, or not my original one, but my first one I got as a, uh, or well, the first one I got whenever, well, I wasn't an adult yet, I was still 17, but you get, you get it. The first one I got after I had lost my other one, so yeah, she has a new pelvic, so and I will show that to you. I actually used a Totsie one on her. So there's other clones called Totsie, but yeah, you can see how much more yellow the plastic is compared to that, but it was the exact same mold. So I was able to use that on her, but yeah, do not pop their legs off. I wouldn't recommend it, but yeah, they do. As far as I know, like I did have one, her hair was styled just like this. So I had my original one that I had found abandoned and then I got another one that was new and she was like a swimmer that came in a, um, with a pail, a sand pail and stuff like that. She was one of those types of dolls, but she had magenta colored lips and green eyes and her hair was more of a, um, dirty blonde, but she actually had hollow legs. That one did have hollow legs. So... I guess that was around the time when they were discontinuing Fashion Corner dolls, but all mine that I have right now have the bendy knees and everything. Then another interesting thing about these is the the arm molds. I actually thought that they had made these, like they that the company had sculpted them, because they were very reminiscent of the standard Barbie arms from the 90s and 80s and stuff. So you can see here, very similar, but the hands on the fashion corner ones are a little more graceful than the Barbie ones. But then I discovered that this was actually a later mold that they'd used on actual Barbies. But yeah, this is another doll that was sent to me by Dolly Me. So this is Sparkle Beach uh, Kyra. So yeah, she's all dressed up and I got her hair washed and everything and she's looking good. But yeah, this is a newer hand mold. I guess they started using these arms in the late 80s. So I have this doll and I got to looking, this was another one that he sent me and I got to looking at her hands and they're the exact same mold 
they are absolutely 100% identical to the Fashion Corner dolls. So this arm mold, the more graceful hands, must have shown up on the very first Superstar dolls that started using the arms that went up and down. So, so yeah, these are the exact same mold as those. So, and then some of them actually do use Barbie feet. So most of them actually have these more flat, like they're arched, but you can see the bottoms of them are more flat. Well, you'll see a actual Barbie foot looks more like, here, let me do this. An actual Barbie foot looks more like this. So the foot will be a little bit more arched like that. But these ones are more flat-ish. But some of them actually, this is my only one that does, but she actually has Barbie feet. And some of them actually do have superstar arms too. The only difference is they are a little bit straighter. They must have gone in and changed the mold somehow. But these are the superstar arms. They're just teensy weensy bit straighter. So yeah, she has Barbie legs, superstar arms. So yeah, this is another type of fashion corner doll. This one actually has, you know, she has a solid body. It's not squishy. And then at the waist, yeah, these are a bunch of new dresses that I got recently too. My sister got them for me. So that one, this dress, that one, and then the one that she's wearing. So they have a bunch of new clothes to wear. So I'm going to put this down, take the dress off. It's hard to get off because she does have the rubber legs. So yeah, these ones actually on the inside, they actually have a rubber band thingy majigger doohickey mabobber holding them together. So they're not like the Barbies. They're not like a genuine Barbie waist. They actually do more. They don't just twist and turn. They actually pivot all around. So yeah. And you can see the body style very much like Barbie. You can also tell if you have a fashion corner doll, if you see this logo on the back. But yeah, very, very much like a Barbie doll. I always just, my favorite feature of the dolls was the face, the face mold, the face paint, and absolutely love the little um, crescent moon shape in her eye, that little brown crescent moon. I liked that she had a really big, like, white dot, and then she's got six lashes, six really big, thick doll-like lashes on top, and then four on the bottom. She has one eye color. Her irises are not outlined. Her irises are just blue. There's no lining. There's some of these that actually did come with... Um, different facial screenings. So some of them, they had more eyelashes. They actually had smaller pupils. Their irises were outlined. Um, and then there was different facial coloring. So of course I had one that had magenta lips and green eyes. The majority of them you will see that have blonde hair will have um, blue eyes and red lips. So and then her eyebrows, just like the lovely Patsy, are kind of an orangey, like reddish sort of eyebrow. A lot of fashion doll companies are doing that, like clone dolls companies were doing that. So I just, I just am head over heels in love with this face. And I remember the day that I had found my original one she, um, because my, um, see, here, this is one thing I was saying was these dolls look like, it's going to sound kind of bad, but they look like they might have been a smoker at one point because you can see people who do smoke, like they've smoked for a long time, their lips will get thinner and they'll start to get 
it's it's not that they get dimples, but their cheeks kind of go in a little bit more. And so that's what their faces reminded me of as my Aunt Lori, because she was a smoker and she had a small little nose kind of like this and her eyes were really big and then she had small lips like that and she did have dimples. But she was a smoker and stuff like that. So the face made me think of her, except a little more youthful. I don't know. But yeah, that's who I instantly thought of was my Aunt Lori as a blonde with blue eyes. So I liked how she's either, she either looks like, she, she doesn't look like somebody who smokes anymore. Like you wouldn't have that much sparkle in your eyes if you were, I guess if you were a smoker. I don't know. I've lived with smokers all my life and it just, smoking cigarettes is just not good. It just sucks the life out of you, basically. So, she looks like somebody who maybe used to do that and doesn't do it anymore. So, but it kind of makes her face look more mature and I like it. I love that how different this is. She doesn't have like voluptuous lips or anything. She doesn't look like a teenager. I like how she just looks, you can, you can tell that she is a doll. You know, she's got the teeny tiny little ears and her profile is very doll-like and smooth, but she just looks older. She looks more mature and she still has that sparkle in her eyes and that liveliness. I just, I can't. She, she looks like she is, she looks like an older woman ready to take on the world. Like time has not slowed her down or anything like that. So, and I guess that's another reason I say she looks like maybe she was a previous smoker, not just because of her facial features, but because, you know, she looks older. She's supposed to resemble someone who's younger but she looks happier. Like she looks like she has been places in life and like maybe she was at a rough time in her life and she's gotten out of that and she has that pep in her step now. She has gotten her life back and she is living it to the fullest. I mean, that's what her, that's what the face mold, her face paint, you know, that sparkle in her eyes. That's what that says to me as she looks like someone who might have hit a rough patch in her life and now she's just starting to live and she's, she's got that sparkle and she's ready to take on the world. I don't know. That's just what that says to me. So that's kind of my long ramble about why I love this face mold, not just because it resembles the superstar face and because I love clone doll faces, but she kind of tells a story. Like maybe she was at a rough patch and years later she is living her best life. So, so I will get her dress put back on if, oh, there it is. Okay. And I mean, come on. I mean her with this kind of dress right here. Yes, so I will be right back when her dress is back on. There we go. So this look right here, I mean the dress. This is the epitome of what a fashion doll should look like. What a fashion doll from the 90s, late 80s should look like. Like the huge poofy dress. Doesn't necessarily have to be a long dress. This is like a sort of mini dress and then you have all the gaudy ness to it like all the the print and the colors and everything like that just ah uh, yes this is what a late 80s early 90s fashion doll should look like the big hair that that um thick eyeshadow the lips, 
the heavy blush. Yes, this is what a fashion doll from that sort of era should look like. So yeah. So yeah, that's that one. I do have a brunette. So yeah, there are two different types of these dolls, if you do not know. So there's the ones that can rotate all around. She is another one with the bent arm body. So she does not actually have, she has the same articulation, the neck articulation as a Barbie. So there's no ball that goes up into her head. I will show you that really fast. I was going to try to pause it, but I feel like that. Oh, okay. And I will remove the head of another one of just your standard basic one. So here we go. This is the different neck articulation. So you have this wiggly thing that is the brunette's body. So it's very much like a Barbie. You have the neck and then you have the neck peg that pivots all around. And then you have the basic ones that are, it's just a ball. And then there's a little plug, a, a little flange at the top that goes through that hole in the top so here's the different neck articulations the face mold is exactly the same but you can see this is more of a like rim and then that is an actual like something for the ball to fit into so that's more for a ball joint and this one's more for the neck flange with the articulation and everything but it is the exact same face mold so yeah, I got them back on. With the ones with the ball, you can actually, yes, you can do the pivoting, but it's very limited. They're more supposed to be like, just for the um, turning side to side sort of motion, but you can make them kind of pivot a little bit. So yeah, but the two standard types of fashion corners is, the um, standard body and then you have the one over here with bent arms that the arms can move out and then you have the ones with the arms that go up and down so more commonly you'll find ones with the standard basic body like this and she is in a genuine fashion corner outfit so so yeah then I have this one. She got, all of them got washed. They got boil washed and they got their hair restyled. This is another dress that I got. So yeah. And my sister thought this doll looked the best in this one. Yeah, she's got some heavy blush on, which I'm living for. So yeah, her lipstick isn't as intense, but she definitely got, has the blush going on. And she has brown eyes. So most of the time when you find a brunette, she will have the brown eyes. I am just obsessed with this face. I'm just obsessed with her. She looks like she's going to take on the world. And nobody's going to stand in her way. She's seen some crap in her life, but she is not letting that stop her. She is going to... She's going to get it done. Whatever it is that she's out setting out to do, she is going to get it done. And then we have some of the boxes. So, yes, I do keep the boxes. There's the Fashion Corner logo. And this is Girl on the Go. This is her original box. So, yes, and I keep it displayed. Sometimes I display her in it or I put another doll in it. Ugh these pictures on the backs yeah and I love their metallic heels oh I just love that yeah see my see this one right here that I was mentioning sorry the lighting it's getting dark but yeah she her hairstyle used to be like that one right there the bangs you can see they're more flat and they're curled yes yeah, so that's what her hair looks like and her hair was silver like that 
So maybe she was the same one as that one. I don't know. And then you have those. And there's my girl right there. Oh, yeah. And I'm wondering if maybe my original one, because she had the same body and she had the side part like that. I wonder if that was my original one right there. I don't know. And then there's that one who has the same bangs. So, yeah, I love it when they actually include pictures of the dolls in the back. So there's that. And then this one was, is the box for the doctor. I dream of being a doctor by Fashion Corner. And again, we have more pictures. Oh yeah, I just, I love these dolls and it advertises that the knees bend and everything like that. I could just go on and on and on about why I like these dolls and I could just keep on talking about things that I like about them and little details about them and just memories. But this is the epitome of a fashion doll in the late 80s, early 90s. This is what an, a late 80s, early 90s fashion doll should be. Just that hair, that makeup, that face, that body style. Just life in plastic, it's fantastic sort of theme, you know. Ah, oh, I love it. But anyhow... On that note, I will leave off, leave us off with, uh, I guess my original one that I have left. So she is from my teenage years and she's been through a lot. She was also pre-owned and pre-played with, pre-loved before I came along and got her. 